All right, let's just get into it. Dutch painters in the 16th and 17th centuries often showed tables filled with large wheels of cheese or carved shards of butter. Some art historians, noting that dairy products were a major component of the Dutch diet, interpret these depictions as reflections of everyday Dutch eating habits. However, a group of researchers recently reviewed hundreds of food-related paintings and found that lemons, which could only be acquired in the Netherlands at great cost since they had to be imported from warmer climates, feature in Dutch paintings of the period more than three times as frequently as dairy products do thereby casting down on the idea that, well, okay, why, what were they saying about the dairy? I can go back really quickly because I know what I'm looking for. I'm not rereading because I'm confused. I'm rereading because I've got a plan. So that's a, a good reason to reread. So what is the doubt? What were they saying before? Uh, they were a, um, uh, da, 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 here, some art historians noting that they're part of a major component of the diet, interpret these depictions as reflections of everyday Dutch eating habits. So thereby casting down the idea that mm, paintings... Uh, of eating habits, right? I guess they're not eating lemons every day is the point, right? So they're saying the thing they used to think, they don't think it anymore. It's wrong. So uh, A, dairy products were a more significant component of the Dutch diet of the period than lemons were. Well, that is true, right? I know what they're trying to do here, right? That is that is 100% what they said. But remember, what's right before the blank? Casting doubt. We're not doubting that they ate more dairy than lemons. They said that. They said that they ate very few, lem few lemons because they're rare. They're, they have to be imported. So they didn't eat a lot. So we're not doubting that. They say that that's true. That's the reason we're doubting something else. So this is a trap for sure. They know you're just going to read this and be like, oh yeah, that's what they just said. But you got to read before the blank. It says casting doubt. You don't fall for that. Um, B, uh, casting doubt on the idea that food was a more popular subject among Dutch painters than it was among painters from other countries. They don't talk about other countries. That's a comparison I don't care about, so that's easy to get rid of. Uh, casting doubt on the idea that depictions of food in Dutch paintings of the period should be taken as realistic representations of Dutch eating habits. Yes, because we that's what they thought originally. They originally thought that all this dairy stuff was like, hey, they love, this is what they eat all the time. So this is what they paint. Um, but now we're doubting that because they're painting lemons even though they don't have lemons. So th this is the this is the right answer. I'm going to read D anyway, but I'm very sure that that's it because um, it's kind of basically just what I wrote here. Yeah. Um, D, Dutch painters of the period may have depicted foods for symbolic reasons rather than to show what Dutch people typically ate. This is, again, a true thing. But if we are casting doubt on this, then we are saying that it's not true. So if you had trouble with this phrase, casting doubt, that means we, we don't think that it's true. So uh, they don't really talk about symbolism. So this is a good example too of like, they're kind of bringing in something that's not really in the passage. We can do that from time to time, but we should avoid it. Um, they don't really talk about it. We don't want to speculate about what the lemons mean. It's just a lemon, right? So don't worry about it. So um, it's possible that yes, they're painting the lemons because they have some symbolic meaning, but I don't really care. And if that is true, then fine. That, that that undermines what Choi C is saying, right? It, it, it undermines the idea that they're painting things because they are realistic. Now they're not realistic, they're symbolic. So that could be the case, but we don't want to doubt that. That is a valid reason for, you know, kind of doubting or explaining the other stuff, that the, the dairy is just a coincidence and the lemons are something else. So uh, not a particularly tricky question, I do think that this passage is pretty easy to understand, but you do see that one little piece at the, the end where if you're not paying attention, you can get a choice wrong. It is not a coincidence that both A and I would say D are things that make sense if you misread the logic of that last piece, that they're, what, what are we doubting? So we need to go back to the original theory that they proved wrong. Very interesting question. So hopefully you didn't get it wrong. If you did, you know, put it in the comments. I am curious if I'm going to fall for those traps.